Good morning. I just wanted to talk to you guys about fixing extension cords. I have two extension cords here that have been burned out. Um, the end of the female end got melted and the end of the male end got melted so it works out really nice. What I'm going to do is just take and splice these two extension cords together. Instead of throwing them away, I'm going to make one usable extension cord. I already cut this end off. Don't need it anymore. Yeah, open up this wire so I can get to my three wires inside. I have a positive, a negative, and a ground. I'm going to use a razor blade, use a pocket knife, whatever you use to cut. Always cut away from yourself. You don't slice yourself open. Uh, we always generally tend to learn that one the hard way. And uh, so I cut about two inches off here. And I open her up. And I peel away the outer insulation. Okay. Then I'll cut the extra insulation off because I don't need that anymore. So what I have here is I have three wires. I've got my green, which is my ground, my black, and my white. Just trick to it is make sure your colors match up. I'm going to take my uh, electrical pliers. This is a 16 gauge wire. And on the side of the, I'm sorry, this is 12 gauge wire. On the side of the, it's, this is 14 gauge wire. <laughs> on the side of it, it has a 14. I just take it, I cut it, and I strip it. It comes off real nice. Tell it's a cheap extension cord because it's not a very heavy gauge. So I've got three wires. What I like to do is I like to grab the copper wire and twist it. So it's nice and nice and tight. We don't have a bunch of wires going everywhere. Twist it like so. Okay. So I've got my three wires. So now what I'm going to do is come over to my other uh, extension cord that I cut. It is all ready to go. Kind of gave myself a lot to work with here because you want to give yourself some room to, to get it together. And then I just take these wires, twist the white to the white, get it good and tight. 